Welcome back here in the post game. Jeff Lang been talking right now with head coach Molly Lang. And Molly, congratulations. What a come from behind win again for your ball team tonight. Dropped that first game, but it looked like the girls really kind of settled in after that. Yes, I felt the first game we just we had too many errors. Not that we played bad by any means, but when it came down to it, we were not being as smooth as they were. And talked to the girls about, well, you know, the game of volleyball is a game of errors, and the team that makes the fewest errors is going to win the game. And I felt games three or two, three, four, we really cleaned up our act. Well, you told me tonight before this match that it was going to be a tight one all the way. All four games turned mm -hmm. out that way. Did it play out kind of the way you thought it would? Yes, yes, it, it definitely did. I even told the girls in pregame, you know, don't be surprised if this game goes more than three, whether it's four or five. And I mean, I expect us to be on top, but just be ready for them to play. They, I think their their defense is phenomenal. They just, I mean, they got after every ball. They're scrappy, which really makes us work. And I, th I thought our girls did a nice job of putting away the ball and kind of seeing what's open and tipping to the right spots and hitting to the right spots to help us win rallies. I know a lot of times coaches like to hit, but your team seems to be very smart when they use that push or tip play. Is that something you guys kind of focus on in practice? Yes, yes, we do. Um, I guess I, I just really stress playing smart. I mean, a kill is a tip or a hit. It doesn't really matter as long as it's our point. So we really do stress, you know, when that other blocker's coming over, see that and tip to where they came from. And I mean, Haley Antofer is kind of the queen of that. I think she does a really <laughs> nice job of, of seeing the court and really putting it to where they're, they're not. Talk about the growth of your back row tonight. I thought struggled in that first yes. game with serve receiving some of yes. the hitting and passing, but I thought as the game got better, especially in that fourth game, mm -hmm. you guys handled their best servers very well. Yes, yes. I thought fourth game, um, we, we serve received like we had been in practice. Uh, the first three, not that it was necessarily bad, but it just it wasn't putting our hitters or our setter in our best spots. Um, anytime that we get Susie pushed over that right side and with a, as big of a block as they have, we we just we have to make sure that we're getting her a perfect pass every time so that we can use all three hitters and that they're guessing as to where we're setting the ball. I tell you what, for some players that hadn't played a lot besides Haley up front, you've got some really good looking yes. hitters this year. Yes, um, Emma Conkler has really stepped up. Um, I knew she would. This is the player that I've seen in her since she was a sophomore, but it's just really nice for her to, to see her reach her potential and really just put the ball away when we need her to. Um, Carly Johnston, she's doing a really nice job of kind of knowing her role and knowing that, okay, I'm getting the ball, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with it. If it's not a kill, it's gonna be a smart play. Same with Courtney Rudolph. She's become smarter as we've, we've gone through the year. And then Serena, I, I just can't say enough about that great addition to our team. Um, so smart and just such great ball control that she, she really sees the court well and is a great asset to our team. Bailey said that uh, serving was kind of something that, that they were upset about and disappointed with from last Saturday. Yes. Did you feel like your team served better tonight? Oh my gosh, so much better. Um, that was something that I, I was very disappointed with um, from the weekend. Uh, I felt there were two matches in particular that sh we should have won, but we lost because we had nine and 12 serving errors, and, and that's just, that's not gonna win you games. So tonight we came in and really focused on that back line and get, got the ball in and made them work for serve receive. I know this is still early in the season, but uh, this volleyball season's so short, mm -hmm. you only see your conference teams one time. How big is this win in the conference race for you guys? Oh my gosh, this is, this is huge for us. Um, I, I was actually just asking Mr. Lynch, um, who was actually the coach at Audubon before I had been previously, and he couldn't remember the last time that we had beat Tri Center either. And I know we haven't in the five years that I've been here. So this is this is huge for our girls and a great way to start off our conference race. But at the same time, okay, we relish in the win tonight. Tomorrow we're, t we're talking Griswold. Well, I tell you what, Molly, congratulations. Great effort out of the girls tonight. Congratulations on this win. Thank you very much. Molly Lang again with the Audubon.